Hello and welcome back to another housing item video with me, Mioni, for Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're going to be looking at four items in particular because I'm trying to put these all into one video rather than making you have to watch multiple videos. I thought that's still the best idea to do. Um, and then we can fit them through. There'll be timestamps of when each item is shown, obviously. We've got four items. I thought these would go together. We've got the twin top table. We've got the royal leather sofa. We've got the tome stall. And we've also got the blue cap mushroom lamp. Uh, these are all basic furnishing items. However, there are some obviously interesting crafting restrictions. For example, the twin top table uses a material that can only be acquired from your subaquatic voyages. So that uses one of the more difficult items to get called the highly den uh, high density density fiber board um, which doesn't seem that difficult to get but it's still something that will require you to have a grand uh, a free company with submersibles leveled up to actually get that additionally to some other recipe items as you can see on screen the royal leather sofa isn't particularly difficult oh by the way the carpenter table is is a carpenter recipe the sofa is actually a leather worker recipe uh, which isn't too difficult it uses some new skins of some creatures you can get i believe from bicolor gemstones as well we've got the tome stool which is uh, as far as i know not that difficult to craft uh, just another woodwork recipe and we've got the blue cap mushroom lamp which actually is exclusively as a drop from a subaquatic voyage so that's an interesting one it's like a fungal lamp it says so let's look at these items together then okay the, the first thing on my list is the one die channel diable twin top table it says a simple functional table the two-tiered design opens up a wealth of storage possibilities ever since i first saw this item i was super excited for it because it's as close to a modern table as we're going to probably get in final fantasy 14 and it looks fantastic absolutely fantastic uh the lighting is a bit strange here actually i'm gonna have to slash sit to be able to show you the underside here but as you can see, it's a really beautiful modern table. We've got plenty of storage. Uh, this storage space will allow you to place things on it as well, much like any shelf items. So that's really, really cool. So if you had some plushies or something like that that you wanted to put under there, you totally could. The wood grain effect reminds me of something you might see at like Ikea or something like that. But little pouches and scrolls and boxes. We've got ourselves a coffee mug, which is empty. It actually uses coffee as an actual item to craft by the way and there's a little potted plant there as well it's a really really nice item and obviously on its own it's just a table right but for the perfect setting that's going to be high on people's list for certain in terms of the uh color of this item the way that it dies just a brief demonstration obviously is that wood grain effect surface itself uh so if you wanted to have this tie into other items it's quite a washed out version of whatever color you choose though like, like that's ruby red and it looks slightly washed out almost pink um, but it does mean that everything has a slight lighter tone above what you thought it would have which is especially useful for things like um you know the wood grain effects the browns right the brown colors having an orange that usually is quite dark is now quite pale uh kind of reminds me of well oak in some cases but yeah it's a really decent item actually i can't imagine me wanting to dye it many different colors although the idea of like having solid pure white like a modern sort of super modern hyper clean surface environment sounds good to me or black right but the black is not dark enough it turns into charcoal gray so there you go that's the demonstration of how that dies and what that looks like we then of course have ourselves the sofa the royal leather sofa let's just move the table out of the way for a moment it says lounge like royalty on this plush leather three-seater advisors and attendants not included amazing so again another item a lot of people are going nuts for for good reason quite honestly it is absolutely fantastic looking uh, let's have the rotation tool turned on yeah honestly the pixelation is massively noticeable even from distance that's the one caveat with this item but in terms of its design i love these like studded sections on the end and like the creases are noticeable but apart from that this is standing out like a sore thumb but i don't know maybe once we apply some dyes it'll look different but yeah, it's a really nice, really nice three-seater. Three and of course, we can, you know, if we had two other friends, which I don't, we'd be able to sit on this. 
<laughs> it is cool. It is really, really cool. And um, yeah, I mean, for, for diability on this, maybe we can hide some of the uh, creases with a darker color. Uh, kinda. It might be the fact that we have that lighting as well. Something with a little bit, little bit more subtle probably would go a long way. I do like the dark red though. That reminds me of like the House of Lords <laughs> or something like that. That really dark or dark brown. That sort of stately manner kind of thing. I do like that. And you've got a bright red, which is just, it's like you've got like a hot rod in the garage or something. Very cool, actually. Like a diner sort of color. You could make all kinds of things. It kind of makes me wish that there was like rocket engines or something we could put on this, you know, like some spoiler or something onto it. Like those converted parts of cars into sofa. Um, yeah, it's honestly quite a nice item. I can understand why people are trying to get this and uh, are paying through the nose for it a few hundred K at the moment. It'll probably come down. In fact, it definitely will. Uh, the more people level up their crafters and gatherers, but I think most people have focused on their combat roles like myself, right? But yeah, it looks really good. Pure white's a bit weird. It looks very gray. And I think I like the black. I think red probably wins it for me though. Probably that looks really good. Uh, so now we have ourselves seating. We have ourselves a nice table right let's put those together like that looking good looking good looking like a set out of friends or something we also have the tome stool uh obviously recipe on screen it features a nook beneath the seat for all manner of tomes dusty or otherwise so let's have a look at this item oh he's so tiny i thought he was going to be a lot bigger than that that's really quite cute isn't it so, of course, we could use this as, like, a footrest or something. I'm going to have to slash sit to get low enough, aren't I? Uh, slash sit. There we go. Ah! No, that's not going to work, because it's actually... A, a, hmm, I should have used ground set. I guess accidentally we now see that we can sit on this, because it is actually a store. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? It is cool. It kind of reminds me of... I don't know. This reminds me of, like, grass on the top. I like the cushion. That's really, really nice. And, of course, if we dyed all of this stuff the same sort of color, it would probably fit a little bit better together, right? But uh, in terms of diability for the tome stool, then, it is just the cushion on the top, which is a crying shame. I would have liked to have the wood dyeable as well, but again, until we see, like, dual die palette system for furnishings, which hopefully will happen at some point in the future, this is how it is, basically. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Certainly not my favorite item, but uh, it is cute. And it is a good set piece if you're trying to design something. I mean, we already look like we've made something slightly more modern. Let's put the blue cap mushroom lamp then, which is from most submersible voyages. This is a quaint fungal lamp that emits a pale blue glow. And this is a tabletop item. As you can see, by the way, that shelf, it does work. Obviously, this is going to clip through because it's too tall. Um, but yeah, so there you go. There's it on the table. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I like that. That's actually a really, really nice item that came from a submersible voyage. I mean, I'm not really that surprised. A lot of really cool items come from submersibles, like the fridge and things like that. So I do like the luminosity that this thing is giving off. So let's turn off the lighting inside the house. Hey, look at that. Lighting is off. Sadly, it's day outside, but that's really cute, isn't it? It's really cute. I like that. So, of course, you could have all sorts of different centerpieces. I would love to see this alongside the coral, the glowing coral that you can also get that's housing item from also from Submersible Voyages in the last, I think it was the last expansion or the one before it. Really, really cool stuff. It reminds me of like a dandelion. I just want to reach out and, and blow the petals off or seeds, right? The diability of the lantern then is pretty cool. We can dye the mushroom color. So the actual foreground mushrooms, it would have been nice to dye the uh, big dandelion type thing as well. But uh, yeah, I suppose if you wanted to match this to something, wow, that is a very bright red mushroom. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure why you want, would want it bright red, but maybe, you know, if you're trying to match to some other color, color matching is always quite difficult. 
especially when you only have one die on furnishing items, but at least it's possible. I quite like the turquoise mushroom, actually, and it looks really good. But yeah, it's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad. I, lo I love the item as it is, but the die ability could be better. Really cool. Really, really cool. But yeah, honestly, I thought these items would, you know, sort of go together, but I'm pleasantly surprised how well they do. Yeah. Honestly, I would love to see more modern housing design stuff going forward. Uh, we recently got this carpet and things like that. Yeah, this furniture is great, though. I'd love to see more of that. Anyway, let me know what you think about any of these items. That was a brief showcase and, of course, what they all look like together. If you were wondering, we're trying to condense these videos together because of people's complaints about me um, making videos too long per item. So there you go. Anyway, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.